Welcome back to 5.56 Media or 556 Media, however you want to say it. This is something new. It's called 5.56 Media Reads American News Headlines. So make sure you've taken your blood pressure meds like I did. Have a drink in hand or a cigar or both. This is for October 27th, 2023. Let's get into it. Mother of God. So the first one is, we're looking at uh, Americans' attempt to erase history. This is them removing the statue of General Lee down in Charlottesville, Virginia. If you know your history and homework from 2017, it became a violent uh, riot. And they took the statue into secret and melted it down. Melted it down. Also now, we've got uh, violent fights between uh, pal- pro-Palestinians, pro-Israelis, this this time on the campus of Tulane uh, University. Uh, The university denies that they support uh, any of this activity, uh, but it happened on their campus. So that's what's going on with that ideology. Pants on fire. Yeah, this politician, this great guy, intentionally pulled a fire alarm uh, during uh, Bowman, during a congressional hearing. Uh, congressional uh, Jamal Bowman. He's part of the so-called Dem Squad, uh, which is none of these people should be politicians. They're all anti-American. So get rid of them. And this one is Biden. This is just very short. He's he's not very smart. But what he's doing here is actually very common in the uh, public information uh, office uh, process. He's he's doing what he's told to do. Also, so be vigilant. We know what's going on in Maine, and you better believe it that people in Maine are armed. And if they see this guy, they'll take him out. If not, the police will, unless he's taken himself out first. So this is kind of funny to me in Aspen, Colorado. Sorry to the dude that it happened to, but uh, dude in the hotel, and I don't know if you can see, if you watch the actual news story and video, it looks like he was already carrying a rifle, but a bear gets inside, sorry, a hotel kitchen and uh, attacks a security guard in Aspen, Colorado. Thank God security guard's okay, but... Much like the shooter in Maine, the bear is still on the loose. So that's it for me. If you like this type of thing, let me know in the comments below. It's a lot of work to do it, but I can do it if you like it. Thanks for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. Catch you on the next one.